Ellen Ripley's companion and, according to many, the unsung hero of the Alien franchise, Jones was a ginger tomcat that accompanied the crew of the Nostromo. He was likely brought on to control pests that would make their way onto the ship, but also to serve as a source of relaxation for long space journeys. Jones was the only other survivor along with Ripley to escape the Nostromo following the Xenomorph encounter. Though, the lingering question many have after viewing Aliens is, what became of Jones after Ripley left Gateway Station. Prior to their arrival, both slept in a hypersleep container where they remained for 57 years, only being discovered by a deep space salvage crew thanks to sheer luck. After Ripley was given thorough medical examinations and screenings, she was reunited with Jones which is something unusual for the station as pets are not allowed. There was of course an exception made for Jones as Ripley had gone through a traumatic experience. Ripley then took up a job as a power loader operator after being stripped of her flight officer status and the pair moved into an apartment. Though it didn't take long for the company to come knocking once again. They sent Carter Burke and Lieutenant Gorman of the Colonial Marines to persuade Ripley to accompany them back to LV-426 after losing contact with the colony at Hadley's Hope. Ripley was to act as an advisor. It took much deliberation, but eventually Ripley agreed to leave on the USS Sulaco. She didn't want to put Jones through any more trauma and decided to leave him behind, thinking she wouldn't be gone long. After the mission on LV-426 and her subsequent arrival on Fury-161, Ripley spent much time thinking about Jonesy. Before meeting her end, she sadly realized Jones was likely long gone and died sometime prior to her landing on the planet. The only other journey Ripley shared with Jones was covered in the novel Alien Out of the Shadows. Here, Ripley is brought back out of hypersleep in the midst of another xenomorph encounter on LV-178. Jones is locked inside the Narcissus with food while she helped the other survivors. We don't officially know whether Jones passed or not as Ripley reflected on her friend in the Alien 3 novelization and has yet to be definitively stated on film. There's a chance that he was put back into cryostasis and could have appeared in Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5. Jones can also be seen as an easter egg on the Aliens Colonial Marines Nostromo DLC map as you can see an orange cat running through corridors. He's also featured in the Nintendo DS game Aliens Infestation as just another nod and easter egg. What do you guys think happened to Jones? Personally, he was always one of my favorite aspects of the first and second film as I love the idea of having a cat on board the kind of ship in this futuristic environment because it very much grounded the narrative once again. And plus, Jones is one of the only characters to stand face to face with the Xenomorph and go on unscathed. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section below, and if you guys like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the Hybrid Network. We cover all of the latest Alien and Predator news, theories, character explanations, and trailer breakdowns. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Nick, and I will catch you guys next time.